And we need to understand that uh, the brain is essentially a venue, like a gladiatorial venue for uh, competition for neural real estate. And we have to essentially tear down or deconstruct the old pattern and set up a new one that the brain is going to use. I like to think of an analogy of a superhighway versus a cow path through a thicket. The superhighway is the stroke or skill that the swimmer is used to. You know, the, the nerve firings just go really, really fast. There's a Starbucks every few miles, which is a note of Ranvier. Um, if you have an opportunity of going from A to B, you're going to go on the superhighway. That's the normal, that's the kid's normal stroke. What we want to do is create a different skill, a better skill. For us, that's like starting with a cow path through a thicket. And what we need to do is every time we go down that cow path, we make that, that path a little bit more solid. And we tear out the thickets, and we start paving it over. And eventually, that becomes the preferred method of getting from A to B. The problem is that every time a swimmer jumps back onto the superhighway, that cow path grows over again. So what we really want to do in the long run is not really destroy that old superhighway, but just cause it to wither away from disuse. And at the same time, we're paving over that old cow path and making that the new superhighway in the end. The only way to do that is if swimmers focus on their strokes while they're in the midst of that change all the time. Because as soon as they quit thinking about it, they'll revert to the old patterns, make that superhighway, you know, repave it again, and that will be the, the go-to method of swimming, and we do not want that.